Well, good afternoon. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. It is September 29th. It's Sunday. Uh, this is a brief tropical update. Uh, we're not going to be covering uh, all of the activities going on in the disaster recovery areas in Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, and in Florida. Uh, we're going to be concentrating on what's next uh, here in the weather area. And we are monitoring the tropics, and the tropics uh, do have some things going on. I want you to take a look here. Um, once again, you can see the rotation. Uh, this is the upper level low pressure system. Uh, Helene is no longer. It has been absorbed in a larger uh, weather system that will be slowly rotating. It's uh, what we call cut off from the jet stream. So it sits and spins there. Uh, soon it will be picked up and it will go over the Atlantic Ocean and soon become actually a fairly large Atlantic uh, system of a subtropical nature. Uh, it'll still cause some problems to shipping areas uh, out there. But let me point out what we do have in the tropics. You can see this little spin here out here. That is Hurricane Isaac, uh, winds of 75 miles per hour. I'll show you that on GeoCollaborate here in just a second. Uh, this spin right here behind it is a synoptic scale system. It's not tropical in nature. It's got cold air wrapped around in it, uh, but it's amazing. You can see all these spinning systems. Here's one up in Canada that are synoptic scale systems uh, that impact our weather uh, as they move across and around the world and develop and dissipate. Uh, further down in the tropics, you can see this spin right here. Uh, this is Tropical Storm Joyce. Joyce now has winds of 45 miles per hour, poses no threat to land, and uh, it will be dissipating over the next uh, day or two. Uh, I'll show you that as well. And then coming off of Africa, uh, you can see something here that looks uh, quite impressive, actually. And uh, this is expected to develop uh, into a system over the next uh, couple of days. Uh, the area that we're beginning to watch is uh, this area down here uh, in the Western Caribbean. And uh, it looks like the models are trying to develop something uh, and then take that north uh, through the Caribbean uh, into the Gulf of Mexico uh, during next week. This is the system we'll be watching very closely. That's the one that poses the highest threat to the United States over the next seven days. Uh, and it could, it could impact uh, some of the same areas that were impacted by Hurricane Helene. Of course, once a system gets into the Gulf of Mexico, when it travels through the Yucatan uh, Channel there, uh, it will impact Western Florida, the Gulf Coast of Florida, and perhaps over to Louisiana. Uh, we don't know uh, exactly where this is going to go right now. Uh, once the National Hurricane Center does identify it as a potential tropical cyclone, uh, this would be number 10, potential tropical cyclone number 10, as long as the other ones out in the Atlantic don't beat it to that, uh, then uh, the Hurricane Center will begin to forecast a track. And that's what we go with in the SICE here in the Sensitive Information Sharing Environment, the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. We're not going to show you 50 different models. We're not going to show you a whole bunch of spaghetti uh, plots uh, because we go with uh, what we know today and then what the official forecast is from the National Hurricane Center and then focus on impacts impacts and predictive impacts so we can help the movement of fleet utility vehicles and emergency responders across state lines uh, so we can help private sector organizations be on the same page as state emergency operations centers as well. And so uh, this is what the tropics looks like. Let me take you over to GeoCollaborate. And uh, well, first I'll show you the tropic, uh, tropical satellite full here, just so you can get a bigger picture. Uh, this is the remnants of a uh, tropical storm. John, by the way, has caused uh, quite a bit of devastation in Acapulco. Uh, they remember were hit by uh, Hurricane Otis uh, last year, and they've had quite a bit of uh, flooding rains, 20 to 30 inches of rain down there. Uh, it's been uh, terrible. Uh, this is the area we're watching for tropical development down here uh, off the coast of Central America. Here's uh, Nicaragua, and, and uh, we'll be watching that development uh, as it uh, moves to the north. We may start to see a low-pressure system develop during the day tomorrow or early Tuesday. Uh, that's what some of the models are hinting at uh, right now. And then way across into the Atlantic is the next uh, potential uh, tropical system 
developing. So Geo Collaborate full screen, I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, we do have, uh, you can see the track of Hurricane Helene uh, that it took there. We'll be taking that off here in the next uh, day or so. I uh, just want to see, this is called the National Hurricane Center's best track. It's their best track estimate from the statements and uh, fixes that they've gotten uh, through the hurricane reconnaissance aircraft. And then uh, down here in the southern uh, southwestern Caribbean is where we expect this development. You can see this X, and this is the development area uh, that we have our eyes on. This has a 50% chance, a 50% chance of developing in this area right here. And uh, uh, that is what this X is for. Here's the track of Helene uh, that we'll be taking off shortly. Uh, but this is the area we want to watch because anytime a system gets into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, it has a high chance of impacting uh, the United States and the Gulf Coast. Uh, high interest in this system right now. Out here, here is uh, uh, Hurricane Isaac. Isaac is moving to the north. Uh, you can see where this track goes. Look at that. All the way up uh, uh, near Iceland. And um, this is Greenland over here. Uh, so it will become... A, a subtropical system by the time it gets up there. Uh, going to the south a little bit more, we can see that the seedlings coming off of Africa are taking a more westerly track now. Uh, before, they were taking a track up this way, and that's why we had that dull period uh, in the tropics, uh, tropical season, uh, but certainly it has picked back up. Uh, so this is uh, Tropical Storm Joyce's track. This is Joyce, and this is where it's expected to dissipate in the Central Atlantic. Uh, this is the high probability of the next system developing in the next uh, day or two. Uh, and then there's one uh, behind it coming off of Africa uh, that has a good chance of developing. So once again, uh, we will keep all of our eyes peeled on the tropics, uh, keeping the sensitive information sharing environment posted. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. This has been a quick tropical update on this Sunday, uh, September 29th, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, please uh, support those if you can through the Red Cross. Uh, they've been through such tragedy in Florida and Georgia, South Carolina and North Carolina and Eastern Tennessee and Southwestern Virginia. A lot of people are going to need uh, a lot of help over the next weeks months, and even years. We'll be back tomorrow with another tropical update. Until then, be safe.